rest of the world. My desire for change. Yes, that is my heart's desire, and it will soon be reality. My unrestricted spells still aren't strong enough to get me out of this. There's only one thing I can do. All military forces are now ordered to advance. to make you get up at this hour. Hmm. But it would be best for us to get an early start on our journey. I wish Sato was here to say goodbye to you guys. Jeez, it's not like they're leaving forever. They'll see it when they make it back to town. <laughs> Eita Tanaka, I hope you understand how grateful I am to you and Keisuku. Thank you for all that you've done to help us thus far. Please follow the instructions I've left for Marjorie's care. Hopefully it won't be too long. Till we meet again. Take care of yourself. Yeah, you too. Hope you make it out a lot. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry that slipped out. Uh, you're gonna be fine. I don't know what I was saying. We'll catch up with you whenever Sleeping Beauty wakes up. Don't hog all the fun before we get there. Indeed, we'll be looking out for you. Anticipated reunion. I really don't want to get involved. But now that I know the world's fate is riding on this war, I don't think I'll have any choice but to get involved at some point. Good luck out there. Our world is counting on you. It's been several days since Balmoske's army left the Palace of the Stars. I can't help but wonder whether the fighting's already started. Surely I would know. A war between Flame Haze and Denizens would quickly spread all over the world. If so, Balmoske is fighting without the Trinity. Thousand Changes Sidone, the Judge of Paradoxes Bel Paol, and the Supreme Throne Hecate. The Flame Haze army should attack while they're away, and their army is weak. Hopefully, Sophie Savalish has come up with a strategy. For now, all I can do is have faith and wait patiently until it's my turn to join the battle. We're finished, my lady. I wonder if Philomena is out there fighting somewhere.
Indeed I will. Ah, uh, come on! I don't understand what the heck's taken her so long. She's only been gone for half an hour. Do you think she could be stuck on something? Maybe we should go check on her. She'll be fine. She lived there for a long time, so she's probably just reminiscing. She requested to go down there alone, and we should respect her wishes. Hmm. Patience is a virtue. Fine. I'll show you patience, buddy. Come on! Please grant me your power. Heaven's Road Palace, surface! <laughs> Objective in the Eastern Theater is Japan. Hmm. It would appear they are attempting to push our defensive lines back to America. Uh, Commander? Let me guess, they've attacked Tokyo. Yes, how very perceptive of you. If so, why haven't we received emergency reports? Well, answer the man. Uh. It seems we've lost all contact with our Tokyo headquarters. They've surrounded it with a seal. The war has begun. Artillery squads, you may fire at will! Disregard the Rene! Attack squads, follow me! Charge! Heavy damage to Central Park. Enemy forces have been reported in the Shrine Garden, heading towards the Nishi Sendoguchi intersection. The Choja Bashi Defense Force is en route. Northern forces are falling back to the Shimizu Bashi intersection. Damn Rebizo. It seems he's just as good a commander as ever. Are we okay here? You don't think he'll come looking for us, do you? Sir, one of our northern squadrons has launched an assault. What? <laughs> That'll show him. Never underestimate a flame haze. Let's break through their lines. <sighs> what the hell? Don't breathe in the mist! It's the unrestricted spell diamond! <laughs> Damn, I tried to warn them! Bet you we can snap them out of it if we just punch them hard enough. <laughs> that was too easy. Our northern lines have fallen into disarray. It's a rout, sir! They should have listened. Uh, do you think maybe it's time for us to go somewhere safer, leader? Yes, Bridget. I'd have to agree. Everyone, it's come to my attention that our safety has been jeopardized here. Therefore, we must move to the emergency command room. Yes, sir. Withdraw! Who will send a message to the front lines? I'll take care of that. Huh? If I don't make it back, you're going to have to take command. Yes, sir. But don't you worry. I'm sure we'll make it back safely. This could be dangerous. Will you join me? Yes, of course. I'll take. 
Take it from here. Hurry and get her to safety. Well, well, well. I haven't seen you in at least 70 or 80 years, Ernest. Oh, excuse me. You go by Fleeter now, don't you? Rebizo. I would think a high-ranking commander like yourself would know better than to fight on the front lines. I imagine Pearsoin finds it exhausting. Shut up! We've received the status report. It's from a messenger who was able to get outside the seal. They confirmed the presence of enemy commander dashing earthly fiend Rebazol. They go on to report that our forces confronted him in Shinjuku as planned. We correctly identified their location. Has there been any change on the Western Front? No, I've been keeping my eye on it, sir. I haven't noticed any major changes. As far as I can tell, their attacks seem to be intensifying. An attempt to distract us, no doubt. In the Western Theater, burning agitation Haberim and his forces have besieged our headquarters in Romania, Andre Fortress. Distraction or not, their attacks have been relentless. We've no choice but to match their efforts. It is imperative we defend the outlaw posts, otherwise we risk compromising our future plans. So far, so good. Several posts have sustained serious damage, but thankfully none of them have fallen. They've launched a coordinated attack to both the East and West. The fronts in this war are larger than any other in recorded history. And to think it's all to divert our attention away from the Trinity. Their strategist, the Judge of Paradoxes, is convinced one of our fronts will fall. She knows if that were to happen, we would be too busy rebuilding our lines to adequately protect ourselves. It appears the enemy has deployed the majority of their forces to fight in the two fronts, so we can assume that only a handful of troops were left behind to guard the Palace of the Stars. Hmm. In other words, this would be the perfect time to launch a surprise attack. While it is a risky strategy, I wholeheartedly trust your judgment and therefore agree that this is exactly how we should proceed. We've been watching for Thousand Changes Sidene, but he's yet to make an appearance on the battlefield. I believe his absence confirms what we already suspected. The Trinity is up to something. Yes, indeed. And it doesn't surprise me. <gasps> uh, what is it, ma'am? One of the four gods. The Beckoner of Brighton Dew? Center Hill? I don't understand. As long as it's not too much of an imposition, we would like to temporarily join your ranks. Does this mean we can expect assistance from the four gods of the Earth in this battle? No. The other three gods have asked that I observe you, and then report my findings. We have yet to decide whose side we will take. Balmaske is endangering the Earth by attempting to revive the God of Creation. Knowing that, how could you still be uncertain of your stance on the matter? As you know, we four priests received our powers from those Crimson Lords revered as gods. And we have devoted our lives to destroying the evil spirits known as denizens. After much deliberation on the subject, we've come to this conclusion. It makes no difference whether they act as gods or prowl the earth as evil spirits. Since time immemorial, crimson denizens have been an integral part of the natural order of this world. As it is our duty to uphold that order, we cannot simply act without first determining the true intentions of the one who calls himself the god of creation. Therefore, until we have that information, we must remain neutral. However... Once you have ascertained Balmaske's true intentions, you will clarify your position? Yes. Then there's still a possibility that you will agree to help us? In that case, 
I would be more than honored to grant you a place at our table. We've positioned saboteur teams at radar stations across Europe. According to our reports, initial transports have already departed. The second and third waves are set to depart on schedule as well. Everything's going exactly as planned. How were you able to gather all that data on such short notice? Well, you see, we've worked for Outlaw for several hundred years now, sir. Uh, uh, I'm so sorry I made a mess of things, Supreme Commander. You must calm yourself, Adjutant Rossois, Oric. You mustn't get flustered, for the fate of the world is now dependent upon your judgment. Sir. The path to life is found only beyond death's horizon. Young man, the real fight has only just begun. Mm. The storm is rolling in. Excellent! Isn't this exciting? Have you ever seen anything so wondrous? I can't believe the abyss is so colorful! It's even more spectacular than I'd imagined! This is the path of pilgrimage. How are you capable of building such a massive structure in the rift between the two worlds? He's a god! He's capable of anything! That's correct. My power allowed me to create it. This intricate, meandering pathway leading to myself. Which we now walk. It's not as though we have any choice, Priestess. We've no other option. I don't think you realize how lucky you are to have this experience. The path of pilgrimage was constructed by the Master himself. He used his powers as a god to craft deprivation, suffering, and despair into a physical path. Because of its transient nature, we must travel in the company of the Priestess. She's the only one capable of picking up the signal emitted by the Insignia, which is linked to the Master's body. Without her unique ability, we would lose our way, or worse. Hey, that is true. If my calculations are correct, only 54% of the path of pilgrimage has materialized. There are areas where the percentage can drop as low as 34. So watch your stuff! There's no need for you to worry. We'll be fine as long as we continue to follow the priestess. There isn't even a microscopic chance that we can get lost. Hurry. It's a long walk. I seek the path, but all that returns to me is the sound of wind and sand. Dekarabia reporting. Do you read me, Fortress Commander? Yes, indeed. I read you loud and clear, Supreme Commander. I hope all is well with our offensive forces. Any news to report? All troops have been deployed to their various stations as planned. However... What is it? It concerns me that there has been no sign of the braider of trembling might, Sophie Savalas. Do you suppose she could be lying in wait for Jim Sidonay? I'm sure she finds his absence suspicious. It is a possibility, but an obvious one. Too obvious. Fortress Commander Fakor. I request permission to prepare the forces charged with protecting the Palace of the Stars for battle. The forces here? You do realize the enemy cannot find the palace, let alone attack it while it's concealed by the Crypta Unrestricted spell. If you have any evidence otherwise, please fill me in. I have no evidence. And I am well aware that although the palace is centuries old, its presence has never been detected by an enemy. Then why? Call it intuition. Everything is going too smoothly. The flame haze have been oddly quiet, which leads me to believe they must be plotting something. Then permission is granted. Supreme Commander, do whatever you must to protect the Palace of the Stars until the Master can return. Very well. I will make the order at once. I don't understand. Why didn't my unrestricted spell work against Yuji? Is it because I haven't mastered it yet? Or is he so powerful now that it's too weak to affect him? I don't know. When he left, it was almost too easy to say goodbye. But now... I want to see him. I want to see Yuji. He's the leader of my enemy, Balmaske. And I'm the flaming-haired, blazing-eyed hunter. If we came face to face, we would have to fight. I know that, but I don't care. I just want to see him again. That's the only way I'll know for sure. You've got to stop fooling yourself, child. The time has come to unite you with yourself. 
The flaming-haired, blazing-eyed hunter and Shauna must become one and the same. Otherwise, I'll never be able to confront him and show him the new power I've found. The strongest unrestricted spell. This love I feel for him. The problem is, I can't do anything as long as he's holding me captive. If I tried to confront him while I'm helpless like this, he'd easily defeat me. I need to break free of this restrictive chain and recover my flame haze powers. To do that, something's gotta happen. Something that'll give me the opening I need. This is ridiculous. The biggest war in history is being fought as we speak, and we get stuck down here on watchman duty? Why do we have to miss out on all the fun? Would you quit your whining? Supreme Commander Decarabia ordered us to protect the Palace of the Stars. Protect it from what? Give me a break! It's not like the enemy's gonna come here. What's wrong? Who is that? Man, this sucks! I mean, the freaking War of the Century is going on out there. Why did we agree to hang out in this musty old palace? <laughs> Yo! Uh. You seem cool, but you gotta go. I must be dreaming. Okay, ready to get started, old man? Yeah, I'm ready if you are. But we should probably get outside the palace walls first. Ceremonial equipment. Deploy Kadesha Flood Seal. Activating. Constructing unrestricted spell. Kadesha Blood Pulse. Deploy. Synchronizing to unrestricted spell. Kadesha's Blood Pulse. Better get a move on. Gotcha! Yahoo! <laughs> Wanna help the big guy tear the place down, Valar? You know it. There's nothing I enjoy more than wreaking destruction. <laughs> this is it. The destruction I need to break free. going on? Rebecca and Comson's attack on the Palace of the Stars causes it to descend into chaos. Amidst the confusion, Shauna waits for the perfect moment to make a break for her freedom. Next time on Shakugan no Shauna Final, to the Palace of the Stars.